So, so we. You guys having a party in here? Yeah. 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 And you know, I thought it'd be a good idea to get some gas before the trip. I can get a quick car wash, get all the salt off my car. Looks like everybody else in the town had the same idea. I think I'm gonna be late. I have a headlamp too. You know, that's something I didn't bring. So it is a clear Friday night, two days past moon moon. Is it two days past new moon or three? Uh, so what's today, the eighth? Yeah, so two we're two days. days past new moon. Clear Friday night, it's cold, but not that cold considering the winter we had. So I'm traveling out to a dark sky site with my buddy Mark. He's gonna show me where it is. I officially have no idea where it is. It's in the middle of nowhere, but it's a lot darker than the backyard. So I figure I'd give it a shot. Such a wide lens, it's like, it looks like I shouldn't be in it, but I'm gonna top with my hands over here too. We're at location one right now. We're in the complete dark, there's no power here, so, but it's so beautiful. This is by far the clearest, most crystal clear night of 2019 so far. Like driving down here, you can see the horizon, uh, the red glow of that one of those crystal clear nights. Air is so still, no wind, just beautiful. And of course, being uh, early March, we've got Orion, quickly fading into the west. So that's the target for right now. I've got the Ioptron Sky Tracker Pro with my uh, 17 to 40 millimeter Canon F4 lens and my old Canon 450D modified DSLR running. So I've looked at the test images. They're 90 seconds each. I can see Barnard's loop in there. I can see the Rosette Nebula. It's framed up just beautifully with some uh, wintry trees along the bottom. The location is amazing, so we've never been here before. That's the reason we're out here, just kind of scouting it out. Uh, we're probably gonna be heading to the next location in about an hour and a half or so, or I don't know, is that what I, we don't know. I'll explain more about why we're doing this when I see you next. It is freezing out here, but it won't be like this on May 4th when we come back out here for CAPS 2019. The reason I was out at the last location and this one, we're scouting out a dark sky site where we can actually have an outdoor classroom where I am gonna be your course instructor and show you how to take DSLR astrophotography images with your gear. And I'm gonna be there to guide you. There's gonna be a classroom portion of it where we go through image processing and, and exactly what you need. And then the outdoor hands-on portion at night. So that's May 4th, CAPS, Canadian Astrophotography School. Mm -hmm. 